a pleasure good evening to everyone here i'm vi lakshmi ayer so i'm a hindu and truly believe in islam i believe in islam because i have got some proof from it so when you said god is one religion is one let me take an example of three people a hindu a muslim and a christian let me take them together and if their bodies if suppose their bodies are cut down what oozes from their body only blood and it's only blood not the milk not the water it's only the blood when you cut down only the blood oozes why do we differentiate when we depart the body the muslims go with burying and we hindus we go by letting the fire the sister says that she appreciates islam she believes in islam and i congratulate you and i welcome you to the faith of islam submitting our will to almighty god the question asked by the sister is that a hindu christian and a muslim all have got the same body same blood same constituent but when we die why in hinduism do we burn the body why in islam do we bury let's analyze the pros and cons and you decide which is better in hinduism also they say you can bury the children etc but when you become an adult most of the sex safe you have to burn you have to cremate there are some sects which say uh, you have to bury but let's analyze the pros and cons between cremation that is burning and burial if we analyze in islam we have to bury why because today we have come to know that whatever constituents of the body is there the earth the soil contains the same basic elements of the body in lesser or greater proportion so from earth we come and to earth we return scientific comparison point number 1 in cremation we burn the body there is pollution in islam when we bury the land becomes fertile there is no pollution there is no burning point number 2 when you burn you chop down the trees greenery goes down environment is being uprooted in islam when we bury land becomes fertile more trees grow it becomes the manure no chopping down of the trees better for the environment you know the government says don't chop trees if you don't chop trees how will you burn the human body point number 3 it is more expensive according to indian statistics every year crores and crores and crores hundreds and thousands of crores every day crores of rupees are spent every year hundreds of crores are being spent only on the trees and burning the body in islam when we bury it is cheap free point number 5 when we burn the wood becomes charcoal ashes in islam once we bury in the land the same land can be used after a few years it is forever you can recycle it the same land after a few years when the bones get disintegrated you can recycle so logically and scientifically if we analyze it is more scientific more humane more better for burial as compared for cremation hope that answers the question sister